Greetings fellow servicemen. Recently uh, I've got a LED Samsung TV which um, was switching itself off and needed repair. So I did the usual which is uh, go to the power supply board, this one here, and uh, re replace the output filter caps which is this little group here. So I took all of these out swapped them over with um, brand new ones, turned it on and the same fault occurred. So because the value of these capacitors was quite different, Samsung used different values than standard, I put the old ones back in. So we're back to square one again. Now on this board there's 20 caps in total and to swap them all out doing a blanket repair would take about an hour so it would be nice to be able to get some test equipment that um, tells us which cap individually without taking them out of the board is faulty and that's um, when the ESR meter comes in and that's called equivalent series resistance ESR now the old way I used to do was to take a cap out, if I could be bothered, take the cap out of the circuit, I'll just swing this around here, and put the meter on high resistance range, put a cap on the faulty cap, or one that I suspected was faulty, put the uh, meter across it, take my hands away, and hopefully the... Um, meter shows that there's a certain amount of leakage in the cap. If it keeps on going high, that's a good cap. And that's the old system I used to use. It took a lot of time, waste of time, easier to actually swap the cap out. But anyway, um, I just got one of these ESR meters um, coming this week and man it really does make things a lot easier so um, I'll turn her on push the on button there and um, all you do to test a, a cap I'll pick on one of the ones that I've replaced here it doesn't matter the polarity that you put this thing on I don't like the test leads on it, it's um, you really need sort of like SMD test leads, these alligator clips are, are not really the best solution. Okay so you should be able to see here it's got an equivalent series resistance of 0 0.014 and if you want to go really technical but I can see already that that cap's perfectly good because that's a very low ESR and you can go to this little table down here which gives you the values and the expected maximum ESR the higher the ESR value on the, on the screen there um, the more likely the cap is to be faulty so after I went through this board um, very quickly and I went over to this section here and put it on the now the typical fault on this uh, set is that it goes for a while and then the relay snaps off and going by previous servicing this is actually the area you would expect it to be playing up now look at the ESR here I think you can hear yeah, 4.27 on that cap and that's in the area which um, is known to be um, a, a faulty area as well although everyone usually starts at the um, power supply output so that's telling me take that cap out and put a new one in and uh, the chances are that the set will be fixed so um, using the meter it's very simple and it seems to be very accurate displays good the only criticism I'd have is these leads. Um, I'm getting some SMD test leads in, um, which you'll just touch down and 
Bob's your uncle. So, yeah, um, I give this one a definite thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and God bless.